Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Sun the Sorcerer 2. I am Classic Gamer and yeah I know it's been a couple of days again since I uploaded anything. Um, well as you know it was yesterday. Um, I'm still not very well. Um, I've got this really awful horrible tummy ache. Uh, it's just you know it's really aggravating me but I'm going to lower class scum. Oh shut up. Um, I'm going to try and get through this. Um, try and get to Sordid's area, go through all the like the desert island and everything and do as much as I can and then while it's converting I'm gonna go and play some um, Xbox One. So I'm gonna try and do at least five parts, try and get as much done as possible. But for now um, we need to now, as last time as you recall, um, we got rid of those annoying bloody um, demons but now we can now use the balloons to actually get in the castle so let's use our fast balloon and I'm just gonna go for it in this one it's not gonna be like a 15 minute video I'm just gonna go for it until I get to the end of the ship scene which shouldn't take me too long Okay, so let's have a look at this chest. No, no. Look at the chest, Simon. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. There's no point in trying. It's a red herring. Oops. This is one serious amount of cash. So if you look at the door, no, not move it, Simon. If you open the door, funny scene plays out. Just wait until the next game, kid. We'll be back. Back. Yeah. Just try not to come unstuck next time. <laughs> Good. Yeah. <laughs> Quite funny, actually. So let's open it again, see what else they say. Just wait until the next oh, game, kid. Same thing. We'll be back. Back. Yeah. Just try not to come unstuck next time. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I need this to get back home. This must be the stuff. Had to, couldn't it resist? Weird. The view is nauseatingly panoramic. Right, so let's go back down and go back to Clipsos. The future has become all too inevitable. Ah, at least I got the mucus aid. Okay, so let's now leave this area. And go back to Clipsos. Where the hell am I? Yeah. I guess I should have taken that left point at Albuquerque. I suppose I'd better ask directions. Excuse me, 
Do you know where Calypso's magic emporium is? Simple no would have sufficed. Ow. All done, Captain. Did you tie him up, good and tight? I used an iron chain, Captain. Good, good. Better go and hoist the mainsail, then. It's already hoisted, Captain. Otherwise, we wouldn't be moving, Captain. Already hoisted, you say? Yes, Captain. Sure? Yes, Captain. What about the timbers? What about them, Captain? Have they been shivered? Done, Captain. Sort of myself, Captain. Well, I suppose you'd better go off and do some mating then. Thank you, Captain. Righty, landlubbers. I want you all to know who's in charge around here. It's me, see. Captain Long John Silver. And you can probably tell that I'm not a guy to be mucked around. So if there's any funny business, you know, escaping and all that, you'd answer to me. I would also like you to know that you're going to be sold as slaves when we arrive at Calabari. So make the most of it. Excuse me. Yes? I bet you can't say imp I'm ag ten times fast. Imp I'm gimp I'm gimp I'm gimp I'm gimp I'm a 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 gimp Mr. Razor Sharp Wit strikes again. Excuse me. Quiet, fool. I'm thinking. And I hate fools talking while I'm thinking. Who are you calling a fool? You, sucker. Now be quiet. Okay, so use the magic book. I suppose this is my only option, really. Here goes. Hocus Pocus Alakazam, magic, magic, get me out of this jam. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> it worked. Sooty, eat your heart out. Right, pick up the skull. I've left the skull but taken the eye patch. Might come in handy, I suppose. Where do you think you're going, eh? Sorry, it's a bit stuffy in here. Mate! Yes, Captain. Okay, you pair of lily-livered, goose-pimpled landlubbers, pay attention. I have, after careful deliberation, decided that I'm not going to sell you as slaves after all. In order to satisfy my desire for sadism, I'm going to be forced to have you both killed. Therefore, at midday <laughs> precisely, both of you shall swing to the yard arm, and I... Eh, uh, Captain? Not now, not now. I'm dealing with the prisoners. And I shall watch with great pleasure as you... Eh, uh, Captain? Will you stop interrupting, please? It's quite important, Captain. I'm sure it can wait 30 seconds. No, where was I? Oh, yeah. I shall watch with great pleasure as your next break, and you suffer excruciating...
I really think you ought to know, Captain. All right. But it had better be important. We haven't got a yard arm, Captain. No yard arm, you say? No, Captain. Why not? We've never had one, Captain. Right. Uh, in that case, at midday precisely, you shall suffer the horrors of the torture chamber. We're hot. Uh, Captain. We haven't got a torture chamber either, have we? No, Captain. Sorry, Captain. No yard arm, no torture chamber. Do we actually have anything dangerous on this ship? Not really, Captain. Health regulations, Captain. We've got quite a sharp spoon, Captain. Wait a minute. I've had another idea. Right, you lot. There's been a change of plan. At midday, precisely, the pair of you shall walk the plank into the shark in... Eh? Uh. We do have a plank, don't we? That's not too much to ask, is it? No, Captain. It's just that... Uh... Don't tell me it's against regulations, is it? No, Captain. It's broken, Captain. We're just having it mended now. Right. Hi. So, at midday... More like about three o'clock, Captain. At five past three, precisely, you shall all walk the plank into the shark-infested what? Not so much infested, Captain. Don't tell me there are no sharks. Wrong climate, Captain. Too cold for them. You see, your average shark pref... Is there any even slightly dangerous marine wildlife around here? I think there's a dolphin with a nasty disposition, Captain. Dolphins aren't dangerous, are they? I thought they led sailors to safety. Not this one, Captain. Leads them straight to the shards. Got a bit of a thing going. Good. Right, just to recap. At five past three, you shall all walk the plank into the dolphin-infested waters and be led to your deaths. That okay with you, is it? Yes, Captain. No problem with that, is there? We're not breaking any regulations or anything? No, Captain. Good. In the meantime, however, you can make yourself useful. I like the cut of your jib, lad. My old cabin boy met with an, an unfortunate accident a few days ago. You can replace him. Who knows, if you're any good, I might spare your life. Mate? Yes, Captain. Bring him up to my cabin. Yes, Captain. Right. Do you know what a cabin boy is supposed to do? Uh, no. Uh, no captain. Uh, no captain. Nor do I, really. I suppose you'd better talk to some of the crew. They probably know. Okay? Yes, Captain. Feel free to roam around until you find out what to do. Yes, Captain. Right. Okay, so we're now, we've been caught on a ship. Um, that what a stroke of luck. Now all I have to do is find the mucus aid and get back to port. And well, we've got a few things to collect in here. You want to collect a parrot. Um, I believe you want to look at the diary. Twenty fourth of June. Finally got underway with new ship. I think we'll head for the capital first to flog the loot. Twenty sixth of June. Really picking up on this pirating business. Cabin boy Jim Hawkins fell overboard and drowned crew giving me a hard time. 29th of June. My birthday today. Received five new pairs of long johns from crew. They think they're really amusing. 1st of August. Totally fed up with wisecracks about underwear. Next one of them to try it on gets it. 3rd of August. Executed three crew members to set an example. The others won't dare try it on again. 5th of August. The crew grow ever more subtle. I don't know which one to blame. I'm going to take it out on the two slaves we picked up in the capital. 
there's a postcard here. It's a postcard from Calimari. Hmm. Dear LJ, having lovely time, weather good, food excellent. Met a lovely couple from down south. Wish you were here. Love, Captain H. P.S. This card's a lovely shot of the bay, isn't it? Okay, so that card actually comes in useful. So, for now, um, let's see if we can open the wardrobe. I've caused enough hassle by opening wardrobes today. Right, okay, so you want to exit. And try opening this. That's a bit of a balmy notion. Uh, let's try... I'm not that desperate. I'm not that desperate. Oh, for sake. Um, right, go in this door. Oh, I don't want to open it first, Simon. Oh, wrong room. Okay, open this door. I doubt he has anything useful to say. Pick up. The hammock's in the way. Um. Aha. Pick up the knife. <laughs> it's as sharp as my wit. Use the knife on the hammock. And pick up the tinder box. And exit here. Now let's talk to this guy. He's too drunk to be worth talking to. Okay, maybe not. Let's try talking to this guy. Uh, hello. You must be the new cabin boy. You got it. You any good at knots? I don't know. I've never tried. No. So, uh, matey? What's with the shades? They were the best I could do, I'm afraid. I can't get hold of a proper eye patch. I feel a right idiot like this. Do you know how I can get off this ship? There are plenty of ways off it. Yeah? If you can swim. Oh. Your captain is one enormous dickhead. Tell me something I didn't know. When we agreed to take him, he told us he was Long John Silver. Turns out he's really called Long John Silver. Watch out for him, though. He can turn quite nasty. Would you say we swap your shades for my eye patch? Really? No problem. Catch you later. Okay, so that's done. And I'm going to end this video here for now. And I'm going to come back in the second part of this session. Um, we're going to aim to do five videos. So I've done one so far. So I keep losing count on all the bloody videos I keep doing. Because sometimes I get interruptions and I have to stop videos. And all crap like that. So I'll be back in a minute.